So we've got Jellicent, Venusaur, Torkoal, Tita, Indeedee, and the Braviary. Um, okay, so I think, I think, I think what we will do is we'll go Cinderace. Hmm. Kind of would like to lead um, Incineroar, but I don't know. We got Trick Room anyway. We got Trick Room Tailwind. Um, Toxicity isn't a bad option here. Um, it's just the Venusaur like puts me off like leading without Incineroar, but then the Bravery kind of covers that, which is uh, nice for them for sure. Uh, huh. Are they going to lead it though? Are they going to lead the bird? They probably will. Hmm. Or oh, they just got Torkoal in the back. We're running out of time though. I mean, I could bring Togekiss. And then we got the redirection to get around the sun abuse. And it gives Cinderace a little bit of room, I guess. Um, and then the trick room becomes a little bit of a problem for sure. But I think we'll go Togekiss. I think we'll go Umbrian. And I think we'll go Toxicity. Um, we're relying heavily on the Cinderace to deal with that Titar, though, if that does come, which I would assume it will do. Let's see. And we'll just get Bite back and flinch them. <laughs> we're going with a Bite Umbrian tonight with zero attack investment and a zero attack IV. <laughs> that's, that's the way to do it. Ah, oh, you know, I'm so, I'm so disappointed in myself for not, for not doing that last night when I was putting this team, like the finishing touches to the team together. Um, obviously having work today, I was like, I'll get it ready last night for tonight and uh, whatever happens, we'll be good to sit down and go. And then that happens. Okay, well, we're gonna see Ndidi and Jellicent. We're definitely seeing Trick Room come out. Um, is it worth even maxing at this point with, with Cinder? Probably, mm. I mean, I've got to fear I definitely have to fear the uh, the water spout. I think what we'll do is switch into Umbrian and we'll just go for a Dazzle. I can't really stop the Trick Room if it's coming out. And Sick Dandy, thank you so much for joining us tonight and for that follow, my friend. I hope you enjoy the stream with us tonight. We are playing with a Yawnless Umbrian. It's very sad. I'm very sad about that. I should have just spent the time actually breeding one instead of just like ha like I pulled it from an old cart because I was like okay um I had a spare EV and that will do and it was it was kind of perfect IV but it wasn't exactly perfect uh okay I think mm, I don't think we see the bravery come in in all honesty uh the the issue would be if we see the Tito kind of come in on a dozen gleam that wouldn't be great for us um hmm but we don't really have any any great options. Could just snarl. It's going to help against the Jellicent for sure. And maybe we could max. If we see the T-Tar coming now, it's going to be really... Yeah, I think it is coming in. Oh, it's not. Okay. I kind of don't mind this too much because we get the Defiant boost. And then we've got the Foul Play to kind of help on top of uh, that bravery. And we're definitely going to underspeed it in the trick room. It's just that the follow me is a little bit awkward. Uh, they're expecting the yawn, which we don't have. Ha ha. Um, okay. We could... I'll play the Ndidi. I mean, no, we foul play the bird. And we may, is it worth following me just to protect Umbrian here? Because it's likely we could see a Max Knuckle. Um, I don't think we see an Airstream. Okay, indeed he's going out. So, if this bird doesn't go big bird, we might, we probably get it with the foul play. No, it's gone big bird. Okay. We should still do a good chunk to it with the foul play though. And if it goes max knuckle, then it means we definitely get it the next turn.
What are you doing, bravery? Wow, okay, we're definitely getting that thing next turn. Steel Spike. Really do with that Babbery Berry, couldn't we? Um, right. Well, the Steel Spike's fine. I mean, we're sitting in not a bad position right now. Uh, with... Uh, I think we bring Cinderace in for sure right now. Nico T, thank you so much for the follow and for joining us tonight. Uh, I think we probably have to max Cinderace. Um, how many turns of Trick Room we got left? Two. Okay. Well, this is this isn't too bad. Uh, I'll play it, and I think we go for. We are, we are G Max, so it might be worth. Might be worth going for the Fireball into Torkoal. Or the airstream really and then we get the speed boost it's just the next turn then we kind of have to double protect but that's that that's kind of fine i think um if we just get damage into uh now nah, i'm gonna go i'm gonna take advantage of this sun and this ridiculous g max move And we'll see what we can do. But the Bravery might max guard here. Which could have been the opportunity for us to snarl. Potentially, but... We don't really want to give this Bravery any more boosts. The Eruption. Yep. Okay, that's fine. There's the bird gone. And it's not really done very much. I can't really understand the Trick Room and then bringing the bird in, to be honest. I can kind of understand the Trick Room to get around Cinderace, but at the same time, I'm like, mm, maybe... I don't know. <sighs> Does nothing. I mean, at least Umbrian probably takes the... Eruption this next turn. But I mean, there's no harm in us just double protecting here, to be honest. Uh, if we want. We are wasting a turn of our max moves, but... Depends what comes in, I guess. It's a jelly. Big bad jelly. Yeah, I think we just double protect here. Max guard. Oh, we can't max guard with Cinderace. <laughs> we got no max guard. Okay. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. What are we going to do? Probably airstream into jelly just to get some damage onto it. Put it in range next turn if we don't see it. Um, we might see a sap strength as well come out potentially. As eruption. So I'm really definitely would have taken that. Just in case we saw like maybe a heat wave or something. Anything other than that. The crit's not super helpful. There's a strength sap. But that's still that's still alright. I mean at this point we don't really worry about the um the talk all too much. Hopefully this still does a decent amount to this jellicent. Yeah, that's that's super fine. That's super fine because we can just double that slot this next turn. Got the speed boost and that'll help us hopefully close this game out uh, a little bit better. Uh, what's that? Is that a citrus berry? I still think doubling into the, the jellicent this next turn will be fine. Uh, it's just what do we want to double into it with? Um... Because I don't really want to be a steel type. I don't really want to be a fire type either. Um, I think we definitely foul play it. And... <sighs> Airstream's probably our best. But... We probably get knocked out by the talk call. I wonder if... I think a, a G-Max fireball and a foul play will be enough to get the jelly. Yeah, there's a protect. They're going for the trick room. We just got to hope we get enough chip onto it. UFC fan, how are you doing, mate? I hope you're well. Thanks for joining the stream tonight, dude. We are a little bit late. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's that's more than enough. Okay. <laughs> what are we worried about? Minus one. Jelly going down. That's fine. Okay. We're sitting pretty happy right now. What's coming in is the last Pokemon, though. Uh, that's going to be the thing. Is it Venus Roll? Potentially. There's a safeguard. Oh, no, no. It's in Didi, isn't it? It's Didi. Oh, we're fine. Luigi, how are you doing, mate? I hope you're well. 
Uh, oh, and they, the DD's like so weak right now. Okay, we're fine. We're super fine. Uh, the Torkoal just protected as well, so we could potentially go for a high jump kick there. Even though it's quite risky. We could go for a bounce as well. I, I'm not really too sure if I kind of like the, um, the Cinderace without like Sucker Punch. We could just Pyro Ball as well into Torkoal. I think whatever happens now, like we've got Toxicity in the back, we're going to be super fine. But for how the team kind of needs to run, we need to run Bounce on it. So that's kind of the main premise behind uh, the Cinderace here. Yeah, the crit definitely helps close this out. The Snarl should take the Indeedee down. Not quite. Okay. Well, the next one will. But... Yeah, Toxicity definitely picking up uh, usage right now. Um, it was kind of the main reason I wanted to play tonight, but you can, you can see why, because of things like Corviknight, uh, Bravery, uh, Togekiss, um, all these things that are like weak to electric, and there's just not the kind of electric kind of Pokemon in the format to um, really support these roles, because Rotom has such a hard job now. I mean, Rotom Heat could be an option, um, definitely, but I think Rotom Wash definitely struggles a lot more now with like Rillaboom kicking around and Venusaur as well it's just made super difficult so another snarl and we'll just go overdrive and there we go and that should be a nice victory to kick us off with today so very good game to my opponent and even though we've not got the 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 set that we wanted on Umbrian. Umbrian putting in some work. It was weird. I was speaking to Bebum yesterday and I was talking about, I was just telling him my, my love affair with Umbrian. I think it's such a great Pokemon and uh, it was kind of one of the main reasons why I wanted to play it tonight. Uh, okay, we got David up next playing Dragapult, Butterfree, uh, Porygon Z, Simeon, Magnazon, and Togekiss. Uh, so the Butterfree going to be uh, pretty annoying. Uh, Persimian definitely going to... I don't think it's Receiver. I think it's definitely Defiant. Uh, it makes it, again, quite difficult to bring the Incineroar as a lead because of that Persimian. Um, although, saying that, we do have Cinderace that we can make use of. Um, and at least with Incineroar, Cinderace, that does make things a little bit easier. Um... You know what? I feel like I want to go down that route. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. We'll go Cinderace. We'll go Incineroar. And then we will go... Hmm, I think we want Umbrian. Probably not Toxicity. Not 100% sure about Togekiss. I mean, Togekiss is really good here, to be honest. Outside of, like, the Magnazone. It's pretty decent. So we can get rid of the Magnazone. We do have two fire types, I think. Yeah, we'll be all right. We'll go with our Togekiss. JB, how are you doing? I hope you're well, mate. It is going well, dude. We're a little bit late tonight, but we are here finally and underway. Um, and playing a couple of, like, really niche Pokemon, I think. And... To my favorite Pokemon as well. Umbrian's definitely one of those sleeper Pokemon that you just never really think of. At least I never really think of. Um, but it is a Pokemon that if you ever see it, it's always kind of the last thing on the field. Always. It sticks around forever. And it's one of those Pokemon that you have. Like if you don't have like a specific way or really dedicate yourself to taking it out early, it's really hard to get rid of and just for that i really i really do like it i think it's very good okay so we got togekiss and we got dragapult coming up from my opponent i mean we could just go steel spike like what what has my opponent got on the back that can come in on a steel spike i mean magnazon but do we really mind that too much um we have to worry about maybe uh weakness policy but at the same time i think you're more like more likely to max the Dragapult, really. I don't know. We could go Airstream here. Um, hmm. Nah, I think we got Steel Spike. We got Steel Spike, and we'll go for a parting shot out in on that Toa Kiss as well. See what my opponent does. They're not maxing. 
at least not that Dragapult. Betty, how are you doing? I have to choose between you or James. <laughs> don't make, <laughs> don't make the decision. <laughs> I'll see you later then, dude. <laughs> I'm only messing. I wonder what James is playing tonight. Yeah, it's annoying that I'm late tonight. I'm late, so it means I am cutting into like other people's schedules. So, yeah, slightly frustrating. And you know what we're gonna see. You know what we're gonna see. We're gonna see the yawn. The illustrious yawn. We could have just baked out the toe kiss. Uh, it's going to yawn, uh, Cinderace, for sure, I think. But, you know what? I think it's going to be alright. We'll see what they do. There's the yawn. This isn't the worst thing in the world. Um, they've got Protect. They've got Protect, for sure. Okay. Hmm. They kind of switch out. Now, this is where, like... Toxicity coming in would have been incredibly good. Um, let's go with that toga kiss, I think. We we can just dazzle this next turn. Um, I have to switch Cinderace out. I don't really want to keep it in. That's completely wasted on max turns, so... Uh, we maybe should have thought a little bit more about that than we did. Uh, I think I think you protect the Togekiss. Potentially protect it. Maybe not, though. Uh, you may go for... A yawn into our Togekiss, but maybe not. Deboa, thank you, the team. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it tonight. I feel like it's it's pretty solid, so we can we should be able to ladder up quite high with it tonight. Uh, he's doing a stream to number one. Ooh, well, that's what I'd like to do next week. I think before uh, the the end of the month, that is kind of the goal. I'd like to see if we can push to number one. I feel like I've got the team to do it, so I think um, if we can kind of keep round about where we are right now. I think that that will uh, that will be something we can definitely do. Yeah, they're just wasting, wasting all of that. We'll go for the fake out now. There's no way they max it on that low health. And do we bring in Cinderace or Umbrian? Umbrian's probably safer at this point. Um, the kiss is minus one as well, so that's fine. Uh, <laughs> Aren't we all trying to reach number one? We're all trying to get there. Um, yeah, but I mean, okay, there's a T wave. There could be worse things to Thunder Wave for sure. That means we can't be yawned at least. Um, all right, well, I think now we just snarl and I think we just double snarl, to be honest. Hmm. Nah, I think what we'll do is we'll go Flare Blitz into the Kiss and we'll Snarl. That's what we'll do. My own teams are so trash. I only play with rental teams. Dude, it's just one of those things like it just takes. I don't know how long you've been playing, man, but it's just... Oh, no. Oh, no, we've done it. <laughs> We're going to boost that Defiant. It just takes time, man. Like, And playing with rental teams is a really good way to kind of um, get used to... Uh, Get used to like playing with certain teams, certain calls, and then building your own from that. It's like how every player does it, like to be honest. And it's great that there's like a lot of rental teams around at the minute that you can kind of play play with, and there's nothing wrong with that at all. So, yeah, just keep doing that, man. You'll get there. You'll get there, and then it will come a new a, like a new format where it just all clicks, and you'll be like you'll be on fire the whole format. Trust me, it will happen. Just keep keep going. Ah. Oh. Easy and the Simeon. We've got ourselves into a right old spot here, haven't we? Um, okay. I think we have to. We have to try and get Togekiss onto the field. The only worry would be. Mm hmm. Are they got what are they what are they attacking? Are they really worried about uh we can't Yeah, I think we go parting shot into the Z. Bring in Togekiss. 
It's not ideal. As long as we can keep Cinderace around in the back and maybe get rid of one of these, then we should be all right. They've got no like speed control on their side. I feel like they can only lower our speed. Are they maxing? Is it the PZ? Yeah, okay. Imagine they target the Incineroar maybe here, you know? In close combat, potentially the kiss. Oh, they could predict the switch as well, for sure. And Iron had the kiss. Max strike. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. If Kiss can stick around, we're going to be all right. Break, break. Perfect. That's that's exactly what we want to see. Okay. So we got Cinderace. The high jump kick will get you, PZ. It will definitely get you. Um, whether or not we go for it, or if we go for the bounce, maybe, and then we protect Togekiss. And then the next turn we can follow me, get the bounce off, uh, take hopefully down the Persimian, and then get ourselves in a nice position to get the PZ. Because I'd imagine it might max guard here, maybe. It's not Max Garden. Okay. I still, I still, this is all right. If we waste a turn of their, their max moves. So as long as they're not targeting into the Togekiss, that'd be great. King Kirby, thank you so much for joining us and for the follow tonight, my friend. Hope you enjoy the stream. Uh, okay, well, this might maybe, hmm, hmm. Don't know if this works in our advantage because I don't think Cinderace will be, well, definitely be slower than the, the PZ this next turn. Um, so we're going to bounce off. Depends what their last Pokemon is, to be honest. Um, I kind of need the, the redirection more than I need. Yeah, I'm going to bring an Ember in. I need the redirection with... Um, Cinderace more than any Dumbrian at this point. And we're kind of banking on this this bounce, taking down the Persimian. I don't know if it will. There's a max strike. Just about take it. Okay. Okay, we need the bounce. The bounce. Come on. Oh, wow, it's so weak. <laughs> does nothing uh all right right um i mean we can just reset the speed on cinderace now because we've got through the brutality of this pz okay let's see what we can do get total kiss in and mm, protect let's protect Open, we, uh, I think you go for the Hyper Beam into Togekiss, really. That's Thunderbolt predicting it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Kind of not fine, but it's it's still kind of fine. We've just got to... Hmm... Their reflect does well. That's why the bounce did nothing. The reflect and the light screen still up. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I think like I really want a high jump kick the PZ, but I feel like it's all gonna go wrong. I feel like it's gonna go so badly wrong. Um. They could potentially switch PZ out to Dragapult to try and T wave us catch us with the the high jump kick miss and we could potentially just go for a, a bounce uh into that slot and actually we could probably just go for an attack into persimian rather than going for the bounce let's go for the pyro ball into that slot and go for foul play predicting the dragapult to come in i think we've got to predict that it has to come in 
Okay, we get it. We get it, fam. We get it. Okay, here we go. So we need the Pyroball to take down this Basimian. The Foul Play should take down the Dragapult. And then a High Jump Kick should be able to deal with this Umbrian. Okay. Zach. Uh, sorry. Ze Kanek. Kaneki? Zay Kaneki? Thank you so much for the follow, dude. And I'm sorry, brutalizing that um, that username there. So I do apologize. But thanks for joining us tonight. Hope you enjoy the stream. Okay. Well, hopefully now we can just do this. Has the PZ got... Has the PZ got... Um, protect? Blatantly has. Blatantly has. I just don't want to click this button. I really don't want to kick the high jump kick button. You could click the iron head button. That probably is a better idea. Um, and then just snarl. Oh, we could moonlight. Predicting the protect. Uh, but snarl's probably, snarl's probably a better idea. We may get... Uh, there, there, there. It's going for that. It's going for the protect. <laughs> okay. Next turn, we can click the high jump kick button. They must be thinking now, he's not got high jump kick, he mustn't have it, he mustn't have it. But we do have it. Secretly, sneakily. Okay, let's go for it now. And um, I think we moonlight at this point, because then if anything goes wrong, we've got a health back. So let's turn into that super, super fighting type and get this high jump kick. It does hit, and that is a good game to my opponent. That was a close one. That was a close one. But I'm pleased we managed to uh, get ourselves through that. Uh, PCs are such a horrible Pokemon to play against. Umbrian sitting on the field as one of those last Pokemon again, doing all the work. Verbatim up next with the Dragalge, Bronzong, Ndidi, Tokol, Urshifu, and Gyarados. So probably Dark Urshifu fighting Dark. And then you got the kind of the hard trick room mode with uh, Indeedy support there with the Psychic Terrain Tokol and then look, Dragalji to take advantage of that Trick Room. We know how deadly that is after playing on Monday. Um, and then the Gyarados support outside of that mode uh, and probably Intimidate, I would think. Toxicity, not bad. Not bad, but not great. Not great. There is a lot of... Like, it's good for the Gyarados, pretty much. And do we bring it just for that? Um, hmm. We definitely want Incineroar. Intimidate's really useful. Actually, we could... Uh, we could do this. We could do this. Ah, uh, no. I wanted Umbrian in that last slot. It's actually since we stopped bringing Umbrian, isn't it? We stopped bringing Umbria in the last few games and we've, we've been losing. That's why. That's why. <laughs> it's the Umbrian factor. And Bebum. I did on my Twitter through my Instagram account. Uh, I wish I could send some. Yeah. We need that. We need that to be invented right now. We need the, uh, the internet to allow us to send and receive food from other people. How good would that be? Delivery through mm. an, like an insert on your desktop. That's what we need. Where is the timer remote? We were like four. Like I was looking after the stream. This is wrong. So we need like four. I'll post on Twitter after this what we need. But we're very close. We actually might have it now with the, the subs that we have tonight. But I'm sure um, we've got it. I keep just looking down at Will's message. Pyroball, bad move, run Ember. <laughs> That's all I keep staring at. Um, okay, we've got the Urshifu, we've got the Gyarados. I think what we'll do is we will switch to... Yeah, we'll switch to Amoongus. And we're going to go Max Airstream into Urshifu. It might go Search and Strikes. May do. But I don't know if it does. Uh, there's the Ndidi. That's fine. going to try and stop us faking out, but we're not going to fall for that trap this time. 
<laughs> well, that's why we're losing. <laughs> it's literally here on my screen. All I can see, it's like, yeah, parable, bad move. <laughs> Don't click that move. <laughs> I will definitely just check after the stream, but we're like very close. We, we were just missing out. That was like... Um, Yeah, I think we were like 44 or 46. Like they, they and I was surprised because of the the um the bar was wrong, which is very sad. Yeah, it's not scarfed. It's interesting. It is sash though. But again, this is all right. So what's it going to go for? Blue surgeon strikes. I know the guys on my YouTube would tell me all about how to identify it is Wicked Law. How to identify which Urshifu it is. Um, Alright, well, we can just go for the Spore into Ndidi if we want. Um, but we're going to get Follow Me, don't we? We're going to get Follow Me. We are going to get Follow Me. Um, I think we still got Spore. I think we still got Spore, and I think we still got... Yeah, we got Spore into this lot, and I think we got Airstream, just to cover in case we don't see a Follow Me. Yeah. Expecting us to target the Ndidi. Oh, okay. Well, <clears throat> that's the other option. Well, don't mind that too much. So, this Turbo Shroom now is sitting at a, a very cool... 180 speed stat, which is very nice. Because I don't think my opponent's got anything that can come in now and outspeed this little old shroom. There we go. Tasty old spall. Please bring something like... Oh, okay, Gyarados coming in. Well, Gyarados can have a, a little old nap while we... Yeah, it's Moxie Gyarados. Um, do we just work on... Uh, hmm. Just go for another Airstream, I think, into Ndidi this time. And just put the Gyarados to sleep. And then we've got the like the, the fastest shroom in the land. Unless it is, uh, of course, Lum Gyarados. Which will be fine anyway if it is. Uh, the Ndidi has to spend a turn to sleep right now. Uh, we're going to airstream. So if it is Lum, uh, we'll be able to put it to sleep the next turn. Unless you do see it follow me. Of course, come up from that Ndidi. And it does wake up. But it isn't waking up this turn. There's the airstream. See, it's got to be. It's got to be Lum, Gyarados. Might not be though. May not be. Maybe a salt vest or something like that. No lumberry. I always want to just go to the Y summary screen to see which issue it is. Oh, that's not a bad idea, mate. Um, let's go for a nice. Tasty Pollen Puff into a Cinderace and go for a... Go for an Iron Head into Ndidi, I think, here. Get some health back onto Cinderace. <clears throat> and hopefully the Gyarados stays asleep at least another turn, which would be nice. Uh, but we'll be able to get this Pollen Puff, get some health back onto Cinders. There we go. Beautiful. Gyarados staying asleep. Perfect. This is exactly how we want we want Amoongus to be played. <laughs> this is like how it should be how it should be played. Now I'd imagine we probably see uh safety goggles potentially there on the bronzong. There's no harm in going for a spore anyway, as, as well as one of those pyro balls. Uh it should be Ember. <laughs> But let's see. I'd imagine we'd probably see Lum or Safety Goggles on the, the Zong, maybe. Although, do you? Because you do have redirection to support. So, 
to support your trick room setup. So you don't necessarily need to rely on it too much. It's heat proof. Let's see, it's not safety goggles. Is it Lum? No. And Gardo stays asleep for another turn. <sighs> okay, well. Gardo's definitely going to wake up this... Well, not guaranteed to wake up this next turn, but it's likely and maybe going to wake up this next turn. Or is it guaranteed? Because is that three turns? It's, it's been asleep. It's definitely going to wake up this next turn. Okay. Um, I mean, we just got four Pollen Puff. Have we got... We got Tox in the back? No, we got Toa Kiss. Okay, I think we're going to be alright. I think we just go Pyro Ball. Um, yeah, double up into the Bronzong. We'll get rid of it with this combination. Unless it's got like a Super Berry. But the battle's just cancelled. So, good game to my opponent. Turbo Shroom. Vroom Vroom. Uh, putting in all the work there. And performing exactly like we want. Getting us back on track, so that's good. Right, there we go, friends. There is a code. There is a team. Friends, thank you so much for coming out tonight. It's been an awesome stream. Um, and I really appreciate each and every one of you coming out. I hope you come on Friday. We're going to push to see how high we can get uh, on the, the ranked ladder. So hopefully you guys are around. We'll be kicking off at 8. And we'll probably do a bit of a longer one on Friday to see how far we can get. It's kind of a similar call to this, but a bit more serious than having Toxicity and Umbrian. Even though Umbrian is pretty amazing, probably MVP of the evening. So uh, yeah, have a great rest of your evening, friends, and uh, I'll hopefully see you all Friday. Join in and jump in on James's stream because he is streaming now and I think he's pushing to number one. So uh, go and give him a big support if you guys are sticking around. So I'm just going to do it and uh, you guys can hop in. We can smash over to James's stream, but thanks so much for coming out again, friends. Have a great rest of your evening, and I'll uh, I'll see you all very soon. So until then, take care of yourselves, and bye bye. Let's.